A miter saw can prove to be a very difficult tool to teach all of your students at once, trying to huddle them around. And so we're going to try and solve that problem today by giving you a short video on how to properly use the miter saw. This is one of the most used tools in our shop and in probably most any theater shop, so hopefully you find it useful. So this may not be how you have your setup, but I'm just going to show you what we do uh, to give you an idea of how it generally works out. We have our miter saw to start with, commonly referred to as a chop saw due to the chopping motion it makes. Uh, then we have a stand for it. This stand includes two wings which go out to the sides. This just gives you more support for your stock. It gets pretty difficult to balance a 16 foot long board on this little base here. Uh, next up, we have actually the original box that it came in back here that I've cut up and we're using as dust collection. You'll see that in a minute. It all channels it into there, into a hole in the bottom, which leads to our shop vac down here. Easily accessible, flip the switch. It's not perfect. I'd love to upgrade at some point, but right now it does just fine. Moving over here, I like to keep our trash can close by because if the trash can's not close by, scraps just end up everywhere. Uh, and then over here, we keep our cut lists uh, clipped right here. Your cut list is simply what cuts you're going to make at what measurements. A few other things you're probably going to be using with the miter saw. Tape measure, gotta have it. Pencil or other writing utensil. And then this is optional, but it helps a lot, and that is a speed square. And I'll show you how we're going to use that later. And of course, we cannot forget our safety glasses and our hearing protection. All right, so let's talk basics of the saw first. This is the table. That is the horizontal flat surface. This is the fence. This is the vertical flat surface. At all times, your board needs to be touching both of these surfaces in order to be safe. We have our handle up here, our trigger right here. Some of them are ambidextrous. This one is a right hand grip, which means my right hand should always be doing it. I don't wanna see any of this cross arm. I don't wanna see any of this where you're going and trying to go across. That is so unsafe. Okay, so obviously the first step is going to be marking our board. I'm not gonna go into detail about measuring. Maybe I'll have another video on that later, but we're gonna say that we need 40 inches. Now, for this chop saw, if I make a line here at 40 inches, that's not a bad line, but some people may not be great at drawing lines. So let's say if I'm marking at 39, I may do this. If I give this to someone else, someone may cut it right here, someone may cut it right here, and those could be vastly different from one another. So, to rule that out, if I'm cutting at 40 here, I'm going to give myself a nice V coming off of it. That means that there is no doubt where this cut needs to be. It needs to go straight through that V. We have our mark here. We are ready to cut, except we need to figure out uh, where to cut this exactly because your blade actually has some width to it. So this is going to be exaggerating, but if I want 40 inches right there and this is my waist and I want to keep everything that's here, if I go right down this line, let's say the blade is exaggeratedly this big, then I've just cut this much out of the board I need. So we have to cut on the left side of the blade. So what that looks like. So I've got my V here. I'm going to bring the left side of my blade right where this is. That way the blade goes through all on this off cut side there. Okay, as I'm bringing this down and I'm trying to sight, I can do a pretty good job because I've done it a lot of sighting down where that V is. Uh, sometimes you may have a sliding saw, you may have a saw with a laser. That's awesome if you don't and you need some help that's where the speed square comes in. I can take my speed square, I can line it up with my mark right here. And I'm just gonna make a quick line. And now I've got a line all the way across. So now, no matter where on the board my mark is, I know exactly how to line that up. Once we know what's happening with our mark, we need a hand check. This hand has got to be pressing on the board. We need pressure in this direction as well as the downward direction so that it stays firmly on here. You do not want your hand choked up right next to the blade. This is yellow for a reason. Stay away. We're going to push it on the base but as far away from the blade as we can while still having a good grip on it. 
Then we're going to make sure we're lined up still. Make sure we have our safety glasses and our hearing protection. And then we're going to turn on our shop vac. Got our hand placement. Now, you want to start this before touching the wood. Go ahead and get it spinning full speed. Move all the way through the board and all the way out while spinning full speed. Then you can release the trigger and allow it to stop. If I want to do an angled cut, this is different depending on the saw, but there's going to be some sort of lock here. Undo the lock, and then you can move it to your desired angle. Let's say we want to cut at 20 degrees. I'll just bring it right there. I'm going to lock it in place at 20 degrees. I'm going to take my board. All the same procedures apply. Make sure you know where your mark is. This may look a little different. If I need to go into more detail in a different video, let me know, and I can. But we're going to do the same thing. Gonna turn on my shop vac. So that's all there is to it. Um, it's a really simple tool. It may be a little daunting because it's pretty big and really loud, but uh, it's one of the simplest tools in the shop and very easy to master and not just useful for theater. You'll be able to use this in home building projects and whatever else for the rest of your life. So hopefully you can find some time to practice and master this tool. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Subscribe if you are interested in seeing more technical theater made simple. And uh, put down in the comments below if you have any other ideas for videos or you want to see more in-depth videos about the chop saw perhaps or whatever. But uh, until next time, have a great day.